So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0103 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0103 code? Well, it's a mass or volume circuit high input. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer needs to know how much oxygen is going into the engine so it can get the air gas fuel ratio mixture right. And to do this, it uses a sensor called the mass airflow sensor or the MAF sensor. And it's seen a problem with this. So it's got to be troubleshooting a why. And some possible causes of a P0104 code. Well, it could be a failed or dirty MAF sensor, could be in the wiring and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do is to go locate the MAF sensor on your particular Honda. And it's usually easy to find. It'll be located right on the air intake box. It's usually like a square inch by two inch little sensor. And it'll be right after the air filter on the air intake box. But they're usually fairly easy to find. And the first thing to do after you locate it is to check out this wiring harness. Be sure everything's plugged in good. And basically just keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring is gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. Also keep in mind that this is on a fuse. For example, here's a 2015 Honda CRV, and it would be the fuse ACG, which would be fuse number two right here. This fuse also controls other things like the purge valve and some different things like this. So if you're getting other things going wrong with the car, then it may be a blown fuse. Sometimes this could be a little vague on what the fuse is named or where it's at. So you might have to do a little bit of research. For example, for this one, for this 2015 Honda CRV, it's located up and underneath the dash and it's fuse number two called ACG. Again, usually this fuse is controlling like four or five different things. So if you are getting other problems, then you might want to check for a blown fuse. And so if you check that all out and that all looks good, the wiring looks like it's all good. There's no blown fuses or anything like that. Then a very common problem with these sensors is that they get dirty and they just need to be cleaned up. There's a special cleaner for these things called mass airflow sensor cleaner and you basically just take them out, clean them up, put them back in and quite often they'll work. And so you can look at it and see if it looks really dirty, it looks really clogged up or anything like that then you probably can just clean it up and get it to work again. You can also test the sensor if you want to. There's some different ways you go about doing that. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, it's pretty simple to do. Even low cost ones can test the MAF sensor. To do that, you basically go to data stream or live data. It'll depend on the scan tool. Just go there. Find the MAF sensor grams per second. There's also one for voltage, but you want the grams per second. And basically what you do is that you put the key to the on position, but you don't start the engine. And without the engine running, there should be no air going past that MAF sensor. So you shouldn't be getting some crazy high reading. Like if this is right here, I've been reading like two, three, five, something like that. There's something wrong with that MAF sensor. It might get a little bit since it might be a little bit of a windy day or something like that. So like 0 0.2, 0 0.50, something like that, that would be okay. But anything really high with the engine not running would point to an issue with that sensor. Another test that you can also do is that you can start the engine and then you can see what the range of the MAF sensor is. So for example, right here, it's saying 1.92. And then what you do is you just double the RPM and you hold that and the MAF sensor should also double. So in this case, if the RPMs are doubled, this should be around four and you know the MAF sensor is doing what it should be doing. But those are two basic tests that you could do if, if you have an OBD2 scan tool. And so if you check that out, if you checked out the wiring, that looks good. There's no blowing fuses. You cleaned it up, but you're still getting this air then very likely that sensor has failed like i said you can't test it if you want to many people just go in and replace it since it is a low-cost part but very likely at this point if you tried everything else out replacing that map sensor will, will usually solve the issue and so that's basically it i just want to do a real quick video on how you go about fixing a honda with the p0103 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day